tasks have been handed out. Ah, <sighs> how... I'm back. I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. I've never forgotten. Too many memories. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Perhaps. How would I ever come to terms with my ch <sighs> That's why he joined- And in fact, what Mung has said is entire- But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk for up. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> see. Uh, it, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wong Sheng Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been happy. I think that it's a curse, right? Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse all right. You believe so too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body. The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales. Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need. To Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me. All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism. The one I. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. Rituals, no ritual at all. We just need to kill some. Eh? Wait, you didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> I 
They were eradicated ages ago. You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to re- <sighs> Now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If and the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to check, you're onto something. After all, we're only afraid of what- Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation and- What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe- Do you know the history of the Yaksha? They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, that resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were... Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the Paimon didn't see that coming. Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was... <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. So when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more... <sighs> anyway, let's wait a bit more... Oh, you're finally here! We just fi Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb- But don't worry. The Traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. Will that really solve my pro- Trust the Director. She might look like a weirdo. <sighs> How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly nice? <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. Yeah. Is it really possible to materialize the curse? With the wind! Wind blade. I'm counting on you. Did the curse leave? Uh, yes, I feel more invigorated. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse. Ah, uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 da. You've been pranked. Uh, uh, this exorcism device. People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. So riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden... The curse? Was it? Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess. But I'm leaning towards the last option. 
wouldn't be the f how unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to get human life is short. Enjoy it while. Wow, I, uh, I. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. This is Big G? He's just a child? Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left us. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name. Let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. After all that's happened, I was not even sure what's going on anymore. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now for some reason... This explanation's... Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question... I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never want. A few days ago, some people came to Wu Wong Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they'd come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up. Ah, oh, it must have been poor Lo Cheng. Uh, I was discovered. Oh, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Yeah, Hu Tao and Mum were searching for you. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill. So, all of this was just be- Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to f I... can't. It's too high for me. That's right, yes. 
he used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the... <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the... I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> but he just said he wanted to... Well... If that Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wuang Hill, you meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Um, that's not a good. Hmm. I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. So be careful what you say when you collect the keep. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Ah, <sighs> uh, you. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor's services anytime soon. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. But we still. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, but he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate. I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jue Yun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still eat... Deal! Just give us a minute. Juyu and chilies are a common sight in the uh, I can rustle that dish up in no Great, this should be enough. I'll get started on the ju when everyone's ready.
Uh, not you again. I... Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. I come to think of it, I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Park. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> but I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Let him go of the past. So, is Big G the reason you're here? How did you know? We didn't even see him? <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. <laughs> I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But... I'd say I proved a few people. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. Wow, you must be... <laughs> uh, for me, it... So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking... Mm-hmm. We already saw little Wu. Now... I see. If it's Songzi you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I... Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now... They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? I make artisan sow lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me but A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the ware. I've already spoken to the manager. Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back. 